Hello and welcome. My name is Christopher Lawton of the Solar Design Company. This is a short tutorial on how to create a 3D model in PixPro ready for importing into PVSol Premium. This is the first of a two-part video, whereas the second concerns the PVSol setup. Both these videos supplement other tutorials and training for PixPro and PVSol. We're now looking at the PixPro opening screen. We can choose cloud or local processing. In this case, we'll use local. Give the name of the project of your choice. It will be test in this example. The coordinate system can be left as automatic. Clicking next, we add the photographs. Navigate to where you have your photos. Choose the ones that are relevant. Inspect the photos using the PixPro viewer. It's very important to check them all. Deselect any that are blurred, irrelevant or improperly cropped. The original photos will not be affected by this. If you allow poor quality photos in, then in turn the quality of the 3D model will also degrade. After you finish the selection, press OK, and the photos are then placed in the project folder. We can then select Workflow from the main menu and then Full Workflow. We choose only the first three steps as we need to crop the point cloud before generating a mesh. Once we've done that, we select Start Batch. This will then process those three steps. There is a short wait and this video will now jump ahead to when that process is complete. When the steps are complete, the camera positions are shown as blue pyramids. These can be disabled and now we can see the sparse point cloud. Using the sidebar on the left, we can see the dense point cloud now. This is more realistic to the 3D model. We now need to crop this point cloud to leave just the building. This will minimize the size of the 3D import for PVSol. Details such as trees, hills, and neighboring buildings can be imported into PVSol as a 2D image later. So we now choose the clipping box function. This is enabled in the top menu. Then we drag the box sides tight around the building using the colored circles. We can also rotate the box to get a better view by enabling that in the Tools panel top right. When complete, press OK. We can now proceed to clip the dense point cloud. Click on the sidebar and right click, selecting crop to the clipping box. Pressing start, this creates a new point cloud. There will be a short wait, so the video will now jump ahead to when this is completed. The new name in this case is called Point Cloud 3. We can now create the mesh. Mm -hmm. 
right click on the sidebar on mesh and then generate mesh with a dialog that appears for PBSol we choose 50,000 triangles we can also check texture parameters and set to single atlas with a size no greater than 8192 by 8192 in this case we've set it down to 4k then press start and the mesh will be created there is a short wait and the video will now jump ahead to when this is completed we now have a 3d mesh with textures and scale information you can cross check the scale information by creating a line for example the car parking line on the tarmac was measured on site as 5.18 meters you can add a line in PixPro as an object and the length will then be shown in the properties panel on the right side now the 3d object is complete right click on the mesh in the sidebar and export choose OBJ file format and choose a location to save it In the dialog, choose Shift to Center 3D to suit PVSol. This will create a few files, all of which are needed to complete the 3D object. In this case, the files are MTL, OBJ, and PNG, and all should be saved in the same subfolder, ready for import into PVSol. Please now watch the second tutorial video for the next steps concerning PVSol.